a former teacher accused of taking inappropriate pictures of students at school is now going to prison. Peter Hingston pleading guilty to several charges all related to incidents during his time as a teacher at City Honors School. Jocelyn Person was at that hearing today. She's in downtown Buffalo right now and she spoke with some of his former students. Jocelyn. Well, Leah, 63-year-old Peter Hingston is sentenced to 14 years behind bars after pleading guilty to two counts of child pornography. Now, Hingston was a teacher at um, City Honors in Buffalo, where prosecutors say he used his position to target his female students between the ages of 13 to 17 years old. Before his sentencing, investigators shared disturbing details about how they say he groomed female students even using a GoPro to record students' body parts in class without them knowing. Some of those former students and their parents were in court today and say justice has finally been served. I'm really hoping, hoping at this point, you know, 14 years, he'll still be 77 before he even has a chance of getting out of jail and then another 15 years supervised. Um, I, I believe our, our kids are, are safe and uh, I think we can we can kind of let it go. He was very like physical and like kind of weird, but then also certain things that he would say would be weird. And we just kind of wrote it off as, oh, you know, it's just like a teacher thing, you know? Like we were 12, we didn't know. He wouldn't let me get my backpack back until I cried. And then he, he told me I had to cry and then he would give me my backpack back. So he made me make myself cry and then he gave me my backpack and I was late to class. And it was just things like that, like weird things that like, it wasn't like, sexual or maybe it was but I was 12 so it was just it was so bizarre Now, Hingston did speak to the courtroom, saying in part, quote, I'm ashamed of violating the trust of both the students and parents. I dedicated my life to teaching and to help students. Now, the judge also ordered Hingston to be supervised for 15 years after being released from prison in 2037. Reporting live in downtown, I'm Jocelyn Person, 7 News.